Now, for most bands, the term artwork extends no further than an album cover or some tour t-shirts, but Fly My Pretties are not most bands. The Wellington Outfit has returned to its spiritual home, Bats Theatre, for an exhibit of the art which shares almost equal billing with its music. Laura Albrey went along to check it out. A tour not just about the music, also about visual art. The fourth Fly My Pretties tour, which wound up late last year, was infused with stunning images. People really appreciate it and respond to a visual different experience and a musical, a different experience musically, and then they get to relive it, um, what they saw on the live album, you see. All created by New Zealand artist Phlox. It had to, in a certain sense, um, represent that that musician, um, their personality. And then transformed from the canvas to the stage. There were nine animators on the job, so they had to pull that apart, bring it to life um, for the stage show. Now fans are being given a chance to see the artwork close up. 25 pieces are on display at Bats Theatre. It's really nice to be able to open up again, open up to, to a wider audience again. They can have a sneak peek into the processes that were involved in creating the artwork. It all started here at BATS in 2004 when 85 people packed out the seats for the first ever show. Fly My Pretty says built on the success over the past eight years, their latest tour is seen by over 10,000 people. Flox's artwork is just incredible and it blows everybody away so I think it it makes it more of a big performance than just a musical show. Many of the works are for sale. Some have already been sold for several thousand dollars. The exhibition opens to the public tomorrow. Laura Aubrey, One News.